everybody to our film festival. Yes, we're still at home, and it's quite unbelievable that we were able to pull this thing together, given that we're all at home. Uh, you're about to see nine films uh, from 40 that the kids produced. All the films had to include a water bottle, a government employee named Walter or Wendy, and the line of dialogue, I owe you an apology. Now, we have three people in the industry that will be judging these films and awarding prizes, but all of you out there watching are welcome to watch the films, all nine, and then uh, use the link that you see at the end to go uh, vote for your favorite film. And we're going to give out an audience award among with the juried awards on October 30th. And look forward to you joining us again then. Enjoy the films.
morning, this is Wendy. What's your emergency? You have a stolen car? Mm hmm Just calm down, sir. Sir, we have a deputy on the way. He'll be there just as soon as he can. I'm going to need you to sit tight, okay? And you give us a call back if anything changes. All right, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Still don't know who took my car. Took my car? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I called the cops. Look, I, I know. Do I, you know how important that was for me today? I had to go to work. Look, I, I probably got fired because of you. Look, I owe you an apology. I, yeah, I, I made six grand a week. And now I lost that. You I, happy? Look, Are you happy about what you've done? You took my car? Today's been. I'm out of here. Please, I really need this job. I am sorry, Mr. Smith. The state agency had its budget cut. But if I could just... I'm sorry. I have 200 more people to call today. Come by the office Monday to submit your complaint. Government agent Walter Smith finds himself out of a job and desperately in need of work.
Government agent Walter Smith wakes up not in the shed, but back in his own bed. It had all just been a dream. Beautiful day, isn't it, Gustavo? Sure is. Go get him. So, you and your boys, they've been uh, hogging our trail for a while now, huh? Walter? How did you guys find me? Where even am I? Well, what is this place? Alright, here's the deal. You're about as good as dead. You're, you're done for. You might as well be a little helpful to us in our cause. Yeah? I'm willing to die for my own cause. But at least I can know your name. I don't know about this one, Gustavo. He's, he's as good as dead though, huh? He doesn't really matter. He's Gustavo. My, name, my name's Alejandro. What do you guys want to know? I just... I... Who's the snitch? Man, I work for the government. It could be any... Who's the snitch? Ah! Alright, alright. You know, I'll play hard to get. You know, I'll play hard to get. Alright. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm telling you the truth. It could be any of us. I work in the government. Like that. That's literally our job. Hey, get the, get the towel. This isn't our carpet. You know that. Thank you for putting it down. It's scary. No problem. No problem. Thirsty? Alright, before I do this, you sure you don't know who the rat is? You sure? I just want to see Candy win. Okay. Okay. Buddy, was that worth it? I'm pretty sure you know. Was that worth it? I don't know. I don't know. I just want to see my wife. I guess it wasn't worth it. No, not again! I guess it wasn't oh. worth it. You got something you want to say? Anything? Huh? <laughs> Buddy? Hey, Sir Escobar, please, just let me see Tammy Lynn, just one more time. I just want to see the kids. I just want to see Jackson's face one more time. Hey, Sis, really? Damn. All right, well, you take uh, Walter here. Take Walter home, yeah? Right. What are you doing? What's that? Not the mallet! Not the- Do, do, release me
mir im Herzen, du, du liegst mir im Sinn, du, du machst mir viel Schmerzen, weißt nicht, wie gut ich dir bin, du, 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 du weißt nicht, wie gut ich dir bin, so, so, wie ich dich liebe, so, so. You know what, Gustavo? I, I owe you an apology and thirty dollars naturally. Uh, my my money was on Ricardo. You, you know that. You know I I almost killed that fool. You know. So uh, you know who's gonna call Jesus? Me or you? You. <sighs> All right. After this game. After this game. Go fish. Chloe, I'm home. Why is the door open? Huh? Where's the dog? The door's open. I don't know, Mom. I've been playing my game. I saw him earlier. We have to call the FDI, the Federal Dog Investigators. Hi. Hi, ma'am. My name's Walter with the FDI. You got a call? Yes, my dog is missing. His name's Kobe. I got you, ma'am. Is that your dog, ma'am? Um... Stand on the box, stomp your feet, stop clapping Got a real good feeling something bad about to happen Just kidding. You'll never be like me. You'll never be like me.
I know you? Yeah. Who are you? I'm Annika. No, I'm Annika. No, I'm you. Wait a second. I know who you are. I told you you'd never be like me. Get <laughs> out! <laughs> You'll never be like me. We're live? Good afternoon, America. My name is Skyler Zoidberg. I'm your host for this evening. So, let's get right into the weather. Tonight's weather is going to be in the mid-70s. And, hold on. Getting an emergency broadcast from the White House? Uh, let's see what's happening. I've just received an urgent report about an unidentified flying object entering Earth's atmosphere. 
that is currently hovering over the state of Iowa at the size of about 10 football fields. We have no information regarding what it is or where it has come from. All we know is that it is not hostile. For now, do not engage. I repeat. Effective against the swarm of ships, and resistance seems to be futile. I owe you all an apology, but it needs to be done. The nuclear warhead has already been launched, aiming straight for the mothership. I will not let these entities continue to endanger mankind. stays off the streets forever. stuff on the market? Well, I got it. Okay, I'll meet you at the spot. Good. Hello. Welcome to your interview, Walter. You are here for a job, correct? Walter 1307? That's me. You really are an attractive candidate, Walter. First question, rate our czar, one to ten, let's say. Oh, uh, ten of course. Good answer. Where were you when the bombs dropped? I, uh, I was in the city. That must have been very scary, Walter. We appreciate you staying local. You're walking through the desert. You see a tortoise laying on the ground, shell down, belly up, boiling in a hundred degree heat, arms flailing, writhing in pain. Why aren't you stopping to help him, Walter? Why would I do that? Correct. You can start tonight at 8 o'clock. Did I? 
As I said, we'll see you at 8 o'clock. The United States under privilege of Russia thanks you again for applying, Walter. I told you to never come back to this town again.
Walter? Walter? Oh no, you don't. You get out of here right now or I will shoot you. Just wait. Wait. I owe you an apology. 